Hi Aries, welcome to your October monthly reading. This is a general reading for the sign of Aries. This is the sun, moon, and rising sign. I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. And to those of you who have booked readings and made donations to my channel, I thank you so much. I love doing this for you. And if this doesn't resonate with you, please check out your moon and rising sign. If you would like a personal reading that is specific for your specific situation, you can go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com. At the top, you'll see a tab that says readings, another that says guidance, and you can select the one that suits you, pay for it, and it has instructions on what I need to conduct the reading for you. So, this is the past moving into the present and then moving into the future. In the past, we have the Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so some of you have been working really, really hard at your career. You've been very focused on your money, um, on building a stronger foundation, working very hard. It's a lot of weight, a lot of burden for you. Uh, so you may be considering moving into a different opportunity because you do have one on its way to you. And this is gonna be a good opportunity. The person that's going to offer you the position is a very good business person, very strategic in their thinking, and they can actually lead you to abundance. Now, this could be somebody from your past that is going to offer you this opportunity. So before you decide whether or not you want to take it, now this could be the last part of September moving into the first week of October, but you're going to have to make a choice. So it's important for you to look at all aspects of this before you move forward because you have other opportunities as well um, that'll be emotionally fulfilling and more in alignment with your true passion. And it will lead you to tremendous success. Now for others of you, you've been working hard as well, and your boss, your supervisor, manager, may be a bit hasty, a bit difficult to work with, actually a lot difficult to work with, is what I'm hearing for this group of you. So it's important before you make a decision to move forward that you, you really look at the situation, okay? It's a lot of work, but you do have what it takes to do this job and do it well. And it's important for you to look. Once you look, then you can make this decision to move forward, either away from this job or into a new opportunity that's going to present itself to you. If you want to move forward and you don't know how, put your resume out there, any and everything you qualify for, and it is going to come to you. Actually, you have more than one opportunity on its way. And it is going to lead you to this amazing brand new beginning that is going to be very, very fulfilling. Now, as clarifying cards, we do have the Two of Swords twice. So make sure that you really, really get out of the, the negative thinking in your head because Two of Swords is indecisive. You aren't sure which direction to go, but you know you need to make a decision. The decision is needed. And um, whichever decision you pick, what I'm hearing for you, no matter what group you're in, whatever decision you choose will be the right decision for you. And it will be able to kind of um, uh, give you the emotional satisfaction that you're looking for. We spend more time at our work with the people that we work with than we do in our own home environment. So it needs to be very, very uh, good. This could be an opportunity that's coming that you've been waiting for, the opportunity you've been wishing for. It's emotionally satisfying, it's your passion, and it'll lead you to a tremendous amount of abundance. Yeah. For those of you in regard to love, you may be dealing with somebody from your past. They're coming back to you. We have the Eight of Wands as a uh, clarifying card and the Six of Cups. 
So you may have worked very hard on the relationship with the person that you had a relationship with in the past. Um, it could have been very difficult for you. They may have been very hasty in the way that they handled you. What I'm hearing is like they, they spoke to you in a, a sharp tone, um, kind of almost like condescending a little bit, a kind of negative, okay? They're gonna be coming back and they're going to speak their truth to you. They're gonna give you some clarity. This relationship was really hard. You worked hard, but it was just like this really heavy burden. So you may be looking at, should I go back to them or should I move forward? For some of you, there's a group of you that are going to actually move forward with this person of the past. They're going to give you an, a brand new offer where they they have a little bit more um, uh, maturity, emotional maturity, as well as passionate. And it's going to lead you to the Ace of Cups, which is a brand new beginning filled with love on all levels. Like, I mean, just very gratifying. You have an opportunity with this person to, to actually do this. Now, for others of you, yeah, you're coming out of pain so if you choose to to reconcile with the partner of the past make sure that you release this pain a ten of swords is about a feeling of betrayal it's about um, f feeling stabbed in the back it's about it's about an ending a painful ending but it's going to lead you to a beautiful absolutely beautiful brand new beginning and we have judgment following it judgment is a call from the universe to take action to actually move forward in your life release this pain because the nine of cups is here as a clarifying card and that is your wish you're moving into your wish for others of you you have a brand new person coming and this person is going to offer you something that you have not experienced with the person you know the, the relationships that you've had in the past it, um, it is actually going to be very, very fulfilling on all levels for you. So make sure that you, you make the right decision. Um, now, the Romance Angel cards, we have unrequited love. And that applies to the person that was in the past. You're walking away. This goes back to the group where I was saying they were um, kind of hasty when they spoke to you. Maybe... Um, I get the feeling they were kind of sarcastic and derogatory for this group that I'm talking about. There was unrequited love there. You worked hard. You decided you had to walk away. You made the choice to trust in the universe, to trust in God, to lead you into a new beginning. And you have new offers coming to you. Now, it's important whether it's a new person or somebody from the past, heart-to-heart -heart conversations are in play here. And once you do this, you get to know this person really well, like really know them and allow them to see the real you. That's when everything is gonna get really good. Very important though, that you let go of anything that took place in the past, whether it's reuniting with somebody from your past or a brand new opportunity. The bottom line is whatever you decide to do and decision is huge, you've got two two decision cards here. Whatever you choose, whatever path, whatever direction, whatever choice you make, it is going to lead you to victory. I mean, it is going to lead you to a brand new beginning. This is about judgment, a call to take action. This is about finalizing something. So either you're going to reconcile with the person of the past, or you're going to move forward and create a new beginning with somebody brand new and you have multiple opportunities for somebody new coming in your wish is coming okay whichever direction you choose you have the power within you to create the love life that you want and that is what is coming for you in the future very important to let go of that past it hurt anything that took place in the past heal from it so that you can move forward because this is in route to you now. So I do hope this helps you. If it does not resonate, please check out your moon and rising sign as well. Have a wonderful October, Aries, and much love.